Hey guys, how's it going? First cooking video on the YouTube channel. I figured naturally it had to be breakfast, right? First meal of the day, most important meal of the day, best meal of the day, according to my wife. Today, we are going to be doing Bananas Foster French Toast with pecans, all right? Let's cook some shit. Folks, today is a great day to make French toast. Let's start by awkwardly peeling our banana and then we are going to slice it into nice, even coins. To make our batter, we're gonna start by cracking two eggs, and then we are going to add one half cup of heavy cream, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and then we will whisk the ever-loving shit out of it. All right, folks, time to get cooking here. Heat your skillet over medium heat with two tablespoons of butter. Let it get nice and bubbly and hot before you dip your bread in the batter. After you dip your bread in the batter, be sure to let it drip nice and thoroughly before adding it to the pan. We're going to let it cook one to two minutes on this first side, just looking for a nice caramelized color. Yes, there it is, beautiful. We're going to do another one to two minutes on this side before removing it from the pan. Now be careful adding your rum here. Your pan's hot and could catch on fire. One ounce of clear rum, one quarter cup of maple syrup. Be sure to scrape. Yes, beautiful. We're going to add in our quarter cup of pecans and keep them moving in the pan. We're going to let them soak up some of that goodness, caramelize a little bit. And we're going to reach over and grab our banana that we sliced earlier, introduce it to the party. We're going to keep everything moving. You really just want to cook this banana just long enough to soften it up, blend the flavors in there and get it all nice and happy, all right? That's it, folks. Go ahead and cut your French toast into the triangles, fan them out, and start spooning your bananas and your pecans, all that goodness right over the top. Be careful not to make a mess, but if you do, just wipe the edges. We're gonna garnish with some powdered sugar, and voila!